Hey, it's Uncle Jake. This here is a 2008 Titan. Some people call it a Tau I don't think it's very cool looking. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into this right here. Let's see if we can do it. Let's get to work. So I bought this for $450. And the idea is to turn this into like a really cool retro vibe, like inspired like a barnstormer. But the thing is, we don't really know what we got to work with here. So first we have to get it started. But to do that, we have to figure out what all this is. Like, look at this, it's got a, it's got a remote. I don't even know what that does. It unlocks and unlocks something. And then I'm guessing that's a panic button, but we haven't looked. So I've got a whole bunch of unlocking to do to see what uh, we've got here in this bike. Today's video, we got two people helping out. Dave Smith Motors. I know these guys. They're really cool. They help people all over the country. So if you're thinking about buying a car, why not give them a call? See what you think. We'll put a link in the description down below. And then these guys are helping too. This is Fight Bass. Check out this shirt. First thing I like is this giant logo. And you know how he's sinking his teeth into that fish? That's what we're doing today, man. We're sinking our teeth into this project. So Fight Bass, we'll put a link down below. If you got a fisherman friend, right? You might just get him one of these. Okay, let's get to... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, hey, there's a carb. There's our carb. The battery's dead, but there's our carb, so that's one thing. So this sucker comes with a trunk. I think we should look in the trunk. Is there junk in the trunk? I'm gonna find out if there's junk in the trunk. Ooh. There's a what? helmet in there. What, we got a stinking helmet? And like some sort of manual. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna Hold try on. to put that on? Yes. <laughs> This is fantastic. Someone had the strap. Don't hurt yourself. No, sp no spiders in there? I don't want to push. I don't <laughs> like spiders. I don't want a spider on my head. <laughs> Dude, look at this. You need to wear that for the rest of the video. This is our safety helmet. It came with it. Obviously, you have to have it. The fellow that had this was an old timer. He got to the point where he's like, I probably shouldn't be driving anymore. So he got this bike. It's only got like, what, 184 miles on it? Dude, that's crazy. 184 miles. Okay, so one of the things that we want to do is after we, so we're going to get it running first. Then we're going to just strip all this plastic. Everything has got to go. Everything's got to go. Then I got to figure out what we're going to do to make it look cool. But I think this thing has some potential. So the cool thing is we already went online and looked to see what this was with Dr. Torque's help. We found a battery that's the, the stock size, but I think it's way more powerful, but I don't remember in what ways? So I, I found the stock battery and it was pretty wimpy. I don't remember the, the specs. I think the stock one was like 105 amp hour capacity. And then we found one that was like 190. I oh, that's, wasn't that the cold with. cranking amps? Well, the, the cold cranking amps and the capacity were both increased were both in, Yeah. So we went up, we increased the cold cranking amps and the amp hour yeah. of this, of the battery, but it's physically the same size. Yeah, I think we think, I think, we both think, that it was probably, the battery was so small, it was probably the, the, the minimum you could get for this size motor, so not, not much. So this yeah, it was, it was on the, the low end for a 150cc bike. 150cc. But the one we got is rated for up to 1,000ccs on Harleys and Hondas Holy and smokes. Yamahas and stuff. But Dude, we could just run it off that. Yeah, we could. But my biggest concern <laughs> was, since it doesn't run, you know, how much cranking are we going to need to do yeah. while we're trying mm -hmm. to get it running? Mm -hmm. And the, the better capacity is going to be helpful on that. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get that sucker out and uh, installed. So Tom traced the airbox from up here. You can see that runs down right there, down to this box here, which I was trying to take apart. But there's a whole bunch of screws up in here that you can't get to. So I think that you might take this off. It'd be really cool if they actually designed it that way. This is off now, and that looks brand new. I mean, but then I was looking at the tire and it still has actually the, the little nubs on the flat part. So this definitely hardly got used at all, which is super cool. I did find a hose, it's a vent, it's a little rotted there, which is not good. I'm hoping that's not the case with a bunch of these, but to get this apart, you had to, I had to take the back, this piece off, so I could get this piece off, so I could get this off. A little, a little silly, but we did it. And uh, so now what we're gonna do is leave this off so we can spray some carp cleaner up there or start a food if we have to and try to get this sucker running and start it up. We gotta check oil and stuff too. Here's the size difference. This is the one that was in there. And that is obviously why it wasn't closing. Look at this baby. Let's put it in and see what happens. What the fr Well, it turns over, that's good. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, freaking son of a gun. I'm gonna disconnect that. We've got some, a question. I, I was just about to take this fuse out. And Tom's like, you take the fuse out? You don't even know what it's for? It looks like it's gonna spare in there. But I feel like, I feel like it's probably the, this thing, which is really loud and really annoying. But we also think we figured out what the starter is. Starter, these are like on rockers. So starter, that's what it was, it was a starter. We had to consult the manual. There might be a spring in there that was broken or something, but. So if this is the starter, then we, uh, that's not starting. Okay, great. So we can check lights and things now. Woo, lights. Is that the running lights is what I think? No, yeah, that's a little bulb in here. Okay, so we do have running lights, that's good, because I want to hook up some running lights to this. That is not a running lights. Headlights? Yep. Um, high? Yep. Low? Sweet! Let's turn those off. Try your and, turn signals. Yeah, turn signals. Yep. Whoa, man, you even get a beep. So there's a back in it. I know! Yep. Okay. Um, Hearing protection. I've disconnected that stupid thing. I'm actually hoping it's not gonna make any noise. So you said, and it was making noise before. Yeah, it's not making any noise. Well. Gosh, that thing is terrible. I, what does it even do? I think it just makes noise. I don't think it actually locks and it's really loud. So that would be really awesome if that's it. I'm gonna double check here. Nothing? Oh man. It, it does do something. Ah, nuts. That means we have to have that goofy thing in, which I guess means it is a security system, but it's loud, y'all. It's loud. I do not, I do not like that at all. All right, hold on to your helmets. Whoa, did you hear that? That was awesome. So we have ignition. Try that again. So that's probably just from the starting fluid or the... Yeah, that's just from the choke cleaner. So let's think about this for a second. What, what do you think we should do next? I would probably put a glove on. Yep. And then you spray while I start and yeah. see if we can keep it running with the choke cleaner. Let's try that, stand by. We're gonna up the game a little bit with some actual starting fluid. I'm gonna see if that is... Uh... Okay, go for it. A little juice. So give me more, more of a squirt. There you go, that's some more. Whoa, car was moving. Do it again. Oh, is it easy? Oh yeah, it's always in gear, isn't it? I guess. <laughs> that's weird, it's, it's, all, it's all good. It's just no fuel supply, I guess. Look, it ain't running, there's fuel delivery issues like like Dr. Tork said, so we, I can't get to crap. We need to, next we need to pull a line so we can drain fuel directly into the carburetor. Tom had a great idea because then if we do that and fill the fuel bowl, we could see if it runs for a while. But we just can't get to it. So I wanted to get it running before we start taking crap off and we might, but we gotta get it running. So we're just gonna start stripping crap off. So we're gonna strip some crap off and we'll show you what we take off. This is held together by show plastic thing of screws. Yeah, look at, look at my thing of screws there. We got a bunch of bolts here. I mean, we've had a, the fender, everything to get to just, just this. Just to get to this part. It's tricky. It looks like this is all separate, but it all ties together. And in order to get to what we need, we got to take all this apart. Now, the cool thing is, go ahead and remove it, Dr. Thor. Nice. Hey, there's that screw that didn't want to <laughs> come out. Hey, does anybody have one of these bikes? I'm going to just say it up front before we trash it. We do, do you need this? We got a lot of parts. We'll make you a heck of a deal, like for real, or just pay for shipping or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But. We got this down. Look how much faster that is already, Tom. Looks uncomfortable to sit on. <laughs> it's so fast though. That's like one of those bobbers. It looks like one of those bobbers right now, almost. So we obviously have made progress, but if we're gonna tear this apart at this point and remove the plastics before we were originally expecting, then uh, we might as well do it. Remember, we're just we're shaking our teeth at this sucker. So uh, let's um, let's keep going. So now we're gonna figure out this has got like a bunch of just empty holes that I don't know if we're supposed to be plugged in. That I think is a fuel pump. What kind of fuel pump did you say it was? A, like a, a pulse? Yeah, it's like a, it's driven by the pul engine pulse. Yeah. And also while we've been taking this apart, 
all sorts of things have fallen down and we don't think it's all us because <laughs> somebody played with some lines on this like obviously that's not factory line and some of these other ones are not easier so i think that that maybe some of them they're just lines that had fallen down with no clips on them that hopefully are not needed but at least we're in here now okay so what we've got so far now is we've got the fuel pump removed from way down there so we can get to it and we've taken off the line that comes on the outside of it and runs to the car which is right here so what we're going to do is we're going to fill this full of carb cleaner so that the bowl has a little bit in there and hopefully when we start it it will run for a little bit longer enough time for us to know that the carburetor is in good condition we don't have to take it apart and clean it even though now it would be easier to get to so i mean can't hurt try it okay watch your ears okay so that should be power, right? That's power. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuel pump works. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, that, that works great. <laughs> I don't know if we saw that, but. Uh, oh man, it, so yeah, see how far it was shooting out over here? Yeah, the fuel pump works for sure. Okay, that's perfect. And it started running. So, <laughs> you know, it made it right in the hole of the vacuum. <laughs> perfect shot. I don't think we want to suck up the gas, but... Uh, That's the uh, outlet, isn't it? Maybe. So it'll smell awesome. Okay, so now we got to think about what we want to do. i got to plug that back in. I probably will put some more carb cleaner in there, plug it back in, and hopefully it will uh, start and run for a little while. But that was a great sign. That was awesome. I think so. All right. We've removed a bunch of stuff that was like just open in and not plugged in wherever it should. We think we've got the vacuum lines. The leaks, vacuum leaks. Vacuum the leaks fixed. Whether the lines are hooked up right, we don't know. Yeah, and then we've got the fuel line plugged back in here because that definitely works. <laughs> and then we put some more car cleaner. So really, we should just be able to. I'm gonna turn. not be on this side when that thing tries to spray again. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Here you go. Let's ride. Oh, I laughed too soon. Let's go back to some of the fun of removing a million screws and getting this plastic off and seeing what this looks like. Because once that happens too, then I can start playing around, get some parts on order. thinks this is a speaker. It says siren on it. Look at this. Look what we have done. We've taken all of these parts. Can you imagine trying to put that back together? Dr. Kirk's like, I'm not here for that day. I ain't here for that day either. We need to put it back together. The question is, what do we do with this thing? Because we still have this top I was going to take off. But Dr. Torque was like, you know what? It kind of looks like an alien. And it kind of does. This yeah. is super wide back here. Did not expect it to be so wide. We ended up taking the tub out of there just to see um, the battery tray, what that looked like. Um, we've got this huge air cleaner, but it's got so many things dumping into it that we don't really know what they are. And so that's a question, because like, you know, if I wanted to open this up and have that, you know, removed, so it exposes more of the engine things, that's 
That's one thing. And then look at this front. This front is crazy looking. So we need to figure out what look we want on this one. And then I need to order parts. And then the next video, we'll be putting it back together. Thanks once again. Bye Bass, get your fishing buddy. Cool shirt, they got all kinds of stuff on this one. And then Dave Smith, if you're thinking about buying some, why not give him a call and check it out? So Tom, you have any party thoughts on the way on this one? <laughs> is this what you thought it would look like? Kinda. Is it? It's really, it is not what I thought it would look like. I thought that this back would be a more narrow frame and with a smaller tubing. I'm not complaining about the size of the tubing, just the, the width, the, the wide load part. So we have to figure out the look that goes with this bike. You can't force it. You know what I'm saying? You cannot force it. You have to figure out what the bike wants. So check out this video. This is one that we think you might like. This is one that YouTube thinks you might like. We'll catch you on the next one. It's Uncle Jake, Dr. Torque, Bo's Mischief. Listen, it's a fist bump of friendship. You're gonna feel really good after this. whoop -ow! Don't you feel better? Yeah! I don't. <laughs>